Welcome to the the Sunday Roast with Mike and Danny. This is Danny and this is Mike and we're kind of strange. We're in the tub and we drink a lot. At least one of us does. This is not Mike's body, but that is Danny's, and that's really gross. Thanks for watching the Sunday Roast. We love our fans. And here's Danny's mom. His name's Michael. Is it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. (laughs) And he's a Jew. You can tell he's a Jew. Look Ask at him. Ask him who's his daddy. Magical moment. I can, I can almost taste Danny. <laughs> it's so close, I can almost taste him. <laughs> and now, the moment you've been waiting for. It's the Sunday Roast with your hosts, Magic Mike and Danny the GFP. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Sunday Roast, the place where there is no roast, but it's on a Sunday. And the Mike's replacement is Dean. Three podcasts in a row he's done. Absolute fucking miracle. You may have noticed that when we did those other preview show and the post game show, it was all we could do to concentrate on football because we really wanted to talk about films and music and old computer games. Uh, well, he doesn't like cars. I do. Uh, every t- it's, it's Dean again. All right, Treacle, with your plastic top on. Easy now. I put me look, wheeled it out after a couple of months. Way. <laughs> what do you think to that magnificent intro by Mike? Absolutely stunning, isn't it? I thought you looked really in shape. You both looked really like just a proper couple. I was really yeah. impressed. It's, a th- it's an absolute thing of goddamn beauty. And uh, yes, I'm very happy with it. So, uh, yeah, tonight we are going to go and uh, you, most of you watch this on, listen to this on catch up, but then uh, we're going to be uh, got someone to share some music with you that I found last night. Uh, a young man, that I think maybe a Mancunian, looks like a, someone from Peaky Blinders, and he is, he's singing. Uh, is a, that's very good. We're going to talk about retro computer games. Dean might show you some of the shit in those boxes up there, which when he dies, his missus is going to put in a skip. Wanker. Fucking cat has jumped up the unit already. I'm going to go in there. Anybody want a black cat? I want to go in there and I'll strangle her. I've got four cats, and one just constantly, constantly gets on my fucking nerves. <sighs> right, there we go. Uh, this, it says there's seven of you watching. Are um, are any of you uh, putting any messages in that we can say hello to you? Um, so there we go. We are all... Oh, I forgot to do a look at this one, didn't I? There you go. That's that done. Uh, this says there's 18 people of you watching on Twitter, which is which is always nice. So I'm just going to yeah. go and put this there with my dodgy keyboard. I've just got over eating day old Chinese. Frank managed to leave me some last. I said, Frank, do you want any food last night? Sexy Frank. I said, no, nah, no. Nah. I said, I'm getting Chinese. No, nah, it's all right. He ended up eating half of it, didn't he? The man, <laughs> the man is is a monster, an absolute monster. So uh, we've got no one to say hello to. So what, what have you been up to today, then, Treacle? Well then, mate, um, I took my... Yeah, uh, I told you about that dilemma with my son, Um He's not the most, uh, he's not the greatest of footballers. And he, 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 yeah, he was looking at that egg shaped ball. Uh, and his friends were playing today. They were training up at um, our local rugby club. So they've gone up there to go and have a look at it. And he decided. Don't tell me. me. He hasn't decided to go to the dark side, has he? No, no, no. He, he said, nah, I don't like it. Um a bit muddy, a bit muddy for me. I think I'll stick to football. So what a tart. There you Good go. Lad. Good lad. <laughs> Best way to be. Fuck rugby. You've got no time for rugby at all. Uh, <laughs> you're not really meant to swear on, on YouTube anymore. They don't like it. If you swear within the first 30 seconds, they demonetize you. And I'm looking at it. We have been going two minutes and they've already demonetized the podcast. So there you go. Swear away, people. Use the C word. <laughs> As much as you want. Colin Hattie says that Harry Kane is a gooner. It is. It's it's wonderful to see that that useless prick who does fuck all for England, fuck all for his club, and he is he's he's now the the, their greatest ever player. Still one fuck all. He's not he's Mm -hmm. not fit to lace um who who was uh um John Chidozi's boots. Who did John Chidozi play for? 
That's a name from years ago. I don't know what. He doesn't play for you, did he? No. Don't be silly. No. Um, maybe no, West I don't Brom. know that. Maybe, maybe West Brom. I had a... So is that all you did? Did, did, did you get the missus with you when you go and watch him play rugby and football? <laughs> yeah. Well, we went up there and there were some... They are cut from a different cloth, those rugbyites. Um, <laughs> they were they were odd and they were all standing and they were like socialising quite nicely. Didn't, didn't quite get it. <laughs> There's me in a full Everton tracksuit, full Everton like shirt, a lot, the full on hat, everything. And it just looked at me like I was just really ill, mentally ill. I know, um, you well then. Well, oh mate, we could have gone up there. I mean, you could have held hands and we could have watched the rugby. It would have been <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> um, people say, Sean tells people, I said, oh, what's your dad like? She says, he sounds like a puff of a cold. Can't say that anymore. Can't say the P word. Just, and then people always assume that you're gay because you're mincing around in your full kit wanker. Yeah, I get that. I get yeah, that. But he, we, we, he is married and he does have a child and I have a child and I'm not married. I'm, I wouldn't want to be married because it's just cost a fortune when you want to get divorced. And they want half of all your shit. She's going to take half of it when she leaves you. She's she far too good looking for the likes of you. She ain't. She ain't. She'll be in a is. fucking box. I'm going to fucking cut her up. <laughs> Point out, people, if you are new to listen to this, everything we say here is entertainment. Do yes. not fucking mean any of it. So don't go complaining. Don't go, oh, that's not right. No, it's entertainment. That's why it's no Karens. On not allowed Karens or, or no Wokes or Karens. Not allowed. No, no one on Mastodon's allowed to listen. None of that nonsense. No. Nope. No. So um, I've just been transferring the, uh, the video of... Um, well, I need to go and open another window. And then try and move this down there. If I chuck that in this window, go on. Will it let me play it? Bib, 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 bib. Get in there. Get in there. What are you Christ doing with almighty. it? Is it is it processing? Now it's flashing. <sighs> yeah, what did you do? Just chill out. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, here we go. Just gonna see if it plays. Go on. Then. See, I've got the video of us in France driving around, but because it was done on an old cine, an old uh, analog camera. You're going to say cine tape, film? Jesus Christ! Yeah, really it's in black and white. We had to play the piano as we went along. It's, just, it's not in, it's not interested in playing it. I'm going to try and open it with a with a, a different viewer rather than VLC. Cool file viewer. Give that one a oh, a kick. God. Are you going to open with this one? Probably not. Oh, here we go. Oh. Is it working? I think it is. Oh, Dan, I've got to see this. I haven't seen this. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to go to uh, present that is now called um, Share a Screen, uh, a Window. Is it this one? It's that one. Uh, tell me, people, if you f see any audio. Can you see that? Oh. Ah, uh, yes. Bonjour. <laughs> so there you can see that's that's dean i don't know why there's no audio on it it's oh you've ruined it oh god that takes me back <laughs> right it's got audio i'm gonna pause it it's got audio if i am um, do through there so why if i go to the settings uh audio did i need to click hold on hide all right and then i'm going to stop it Go away, and then I think you do. You got to click share audio window. No, it's not doing it. Anyway, so there you go, people. You should be able to see it again now. But there's no audio for some reason that I don't understand. So this is a. We're not going to watch all of it because that would be boring because it's 42 minutes long. There we are. Uh, we got we up at um, Dover. Skip forward a little bit, and there we are. Getting on the the old uh, the old ferry because I refuse to use the the channel because I'm, I'm not a mole. We're in my uh, my lovely Merc. Oh bloody, we got off it already. Oh, when we uh, can I fast forward it like this? I think we can. There we go. E. So now we are. Uh, Dean's doing all the filming, which is why you can hear him giggling and being a twat the entire time if you could hear it. But you, <laughs> it's not letting us listen to it. So there we are. We finally made it into a. Uh, into lovely France, and oh you can, if you God. listen carefully, you can see them all running because I'm driving a German tank. <laughs> and 
have absolutely no idea what we're doing. We got stuck no. at a bar. We got stuck at a barrier on the motorway because you have to pay. You, we had no idea, and so he's hanging out the window going, "Oi, big nose! What the fuck do we do?" <laughs> there we go. There's uh, Mark and uh, Karen and Paul and their daughter, whose name I've forgotten. And then years later, I ended up buying a Volkswagen Sharan just like that from my hey. Irish, and now I've got the new version of it. So this is after the panic attack of going going the wrong way around the roundabout because the, we they went by the channel because they they just had more money and they were willing to. Right, so people don't want to see any of this, do they? Here we go. Here we are. We're in, we're in bloody Paris. What an absolute shit hole Paris is. Stunk. It did stink. The whole place is just dirt. And here we go. We're now we're doing our laps. It was like doing Monaco here round it. Three times we went through the same bit. Colombo. <laughs> the bloke in there in the front, you can see in the mini convertible. He's the one. I oh, know the way. Follow me. Did not know the fucking way. Donut. And now we're getting into the deepest, darkest recesses of um of of, of Paris, back streets of Paris, and you think, fuck, you know, we're gonna get murdered. Good job yeah. it's muted because we were saying things to the French people that is not very nice. <laughs> <'Cause>, and even, <laughs> I know this is an entertainment show, but you won't get away with that on the old uh we'll be up for the beak before the shows again look, no no we're underneath a fucking motorway yeah oh dear you're gonna be killed at one point i think we did the windows up we did yeah we did <laughs> lock the doors and put the windows up because we got into looks like a very rough area it was like um what do you call it national lampoons where they go into the uh the ghetto and as soon as you walked in, they wound the windows up, straight up. <laughs> I mean, when you got into the decent part of Paris, it was a shit old as well. Still a dumb, yeah. Down the roundabout again, same old thing. Hello, everyone. That was the right way, though. <laughs> oh, what, third time lucky? <laughs> How far are we? We're nearly halfway through this. And then, uh, oh, there we go, Columbo again. Hey, Peter Falk. So you get the gist of that. We sort of think we saw a little glimpse of the stadium there. And uh, I think you were shouting abuse at the drivers as they're going by. <laughs> Why are you always blaming me? Because <laughs> I was busy driving. Hold on. I've gone too far. There you go. He's got his... Uh, that's me filming now. I'm trying to see if it's us. There you go. Pulling up to the stadium. There you go. I've had to go back a little bit. Oh, yeah. Driving, I drive in the middle of the road. Because I'm driving a German tank in France. They, they wouldn't, say, wouldn't say a word to me. <laughs> Another Panzer. Every time I click, I, it doesn't want to go. Oh, there you go. It went from five minutes to nine minutes. Fucking thing's useless. Oh, here we are. Mm. Look at all the shit all over the floor. We're on our way to uh, to not Stade de France, is it? It's the other one. Um. Yeah, um. Oh, what's it called? Fuck knows. Stade de Paris? Um, the Stade like. de Merde. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't exactly easy to find out how we get in. Round and no. fucking round we go. No one's got any idea. To go to this one, they don't speak a word of English. Look at him. Back in the day. How old were you then in the summer of uh, 2007? Uh, I was 27. Jesus. Now look at you, an old man. <laughs> There's uh, Paul and Mark. We're in the concourse. All the police there with guns and riot shields ready to fucking trunch us to death if we even look at them wrong. Yeah, they knew oh, I was no, a scouser. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 2006, <laughs> wasn't it? 2007 was the League Cup final. Which you also came with me. Did you come to that one with me? Yes, when uh, Lamb, uh, what's his face? John Terry nearly got his head booted off. That was brilliant. And we... We had dodgy plates on the Merc, so I could go as far as I had German plates oh. on the Merc, so I could go as fast oh, yes. as I want all the way. And we parked outside the police station and took them Brilliant. off. The police would come out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why well done, Danny. Huh? <laughs> yeah, well done, Danny. And they know Scouser and changing plates outside of a policeman's <laughs> like home. It was amazing. They all come out a bit. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, we had to take all my details and then we had to run to, to the stadium to get there in time because uh, look at them, scumbags. Oh, and that's when we met um, Graham Taylor on the way back. Yeah, there's Bobby Perez going off to bring on Almunia because Jens Lehmann got sent off for being a dickhead. 
I don't know what yeah. this is. There's big Sol Campbell. Scores the goal. Beautiful. But I can't see because I'm zoomed in so bloody far with her. Wasn't that the time where um, we met that geezer who, who, who snuck in? With yeah, a yeah, little, 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 little portable camera. camera. <laughs> he went on press. What with that fucking little <laughs> thing? Yeah, got away with it. It was brilliant. Ted, the number of players that played for Arsenal that day, that that was their last ever game for Arsenal, loads of them. There we go. They're all fucking crying because it's shit. And then on the way home, it decided all the rain in the entire France landed. And we were going, the roads were like this. And when we got towards the, the ferry, there was a, a big twist, a big bend in the road. And I stopped the car in the middle of the motorway and went, that lorry's coming towards us. I had a bit of a panic attack. It was horrible. And then the ferry back, I nearly died. Yes. And then so I remember going what through through Gromanchester at about 140 mile an hour at what something stupid o'clock at night. No, we got back it was all in one in the day. morning. Yeah, it was all in one day, Danny. All in one day. Yeah, I know. And then I said to you on the way back, keep me awake for fuck's sake. And we got to Cambridge and you fell asleep. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Awful. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Oh, we've got some more people in here. BX Gunner is there. A, a VW there. I haven't seen one of those in the States. Lol. No, I've got a Volkswagen Sharan. Sean's got a Volkswagen Golf and I've got the, the Merc, which I don't use. Graffiti Heaven it is. is there. It was. It was. But they, that's a hell of a day out. Hell of a day. Uh, I think I got up at six o'clock that morning. We left at seven. And the next day I got home and got into bed by about half past nine in the morning. It was unreal. It was. It was great. It was a blur. And then the whole yeah. day I spent just drinking uh, Slim Fast and eating crisps because I didn't want to have to need a poo. Not in France. I thought I'd never get to make it. Too much shit there anyway. So you parked at the garage and they said, uh, what do you want from the garage? I went, crisps, just crisps. And that's it. Come back with these weird French crisps. And I've never seen anything like it in my life. Don't know what was up with them. Gobbled them all down, though. I mean, not sure don't want to be greedy. Do you want to see that, um, that music video that I was on about? Yeah, who is it? His name is Ren. Hold on. I'm just going to wait to get rid of the adverts before I share it. What do you All say? Right. He's, a, he's a Peaky Blinder-esque. He looks a bit Peaky Blinder. He's done a recreation of Bittersweet Sympathy, Symphony by The Verve. So okay. now I need to go... Can I chuck this over on the other screen over here? And then what, you want my screen. honest opinion, dear? Yeah, I'll see what you think of it. And then I want to go present, share a screen... And then I'm going to go, uh, here we go, this one. Share, this one, the audio should work. Right, sharing the screen. Okay. And then play. Can you hear it? Mm-hmm. You can hear it? Yeah. I can't. I'm lucky. Could you hear any of us going through Pat France? I've got dirt on my Reeboks. No. From staying up all night, spent my last ten pounds on this pack okay. of Marlboro Lights. I phoned up Stevie. I said, "Gee, you all right?" Oh, he said, "It's I six in the morning, what do you think brother. To it? Get some shots." Don't like his I feel the sense of well-being this well, time in blind, the morning. It? Wear my heart out of my hoodie while the city is snoring. Drunks falling off the sidewalks. I think it's very good. The warning, distant sirens that crescendo like, like a symphony call. This is the Britain I know. This is the Britain I love. There's poetry inside this city if you listen enough. Working class casualties out on the streets are rough. While a mother with her baby takes her pram to the pub and while she's knocking them down the cost of living goes up i can't relate to politicians with the head in the mud i resonate with messy fridays with the boy smoking bud we do our bit to numb the struggle as below so above and as above so below here in the city we glow i blow a smoke ring up to heaven and it makes a halo and then the clock strikes seven guess it's time to head home my companion is the city so <coughs> I'm stepping in and out of cabs of the pavement tracks And if I go to sleep Just now, come up with more recommend recommendations People rise for work in the Ah, Mr Waffles is there Where are you Who is this? Bear with me It's beautiful I think it's irrefutable is, uh, There's beauty in the video. Predicting Britain in the beautiful They keep clipping them doing that Because my computer is an arsehole And it keeps going Oh no, because you're running two screens Um, the graphics card is, is wet in its pants And it doesn't want to play it in HD So I have to keep going back and putting it for HD yeah, 
I think Quite the curb. too far. I think the boy saw red. I think he hit him too hard. Now he's face down on the pavement with the face full of tar. Mad how small altercations can define who we are. That's my cue. I guess it's time to head home. It's bittersweet how my high found its way. He's muted it now. Speaks of Britain, you just go with the flow. But I'm done. I'm out for the night. As the sun paints the pavements, I'll turn out the light. White noise on the radio to quiet my mind. Always was an overthinker, just the way I'm designed. Britain, drink it down and moan about the weather. When it's all said and done, we'll be in it all together. Boys will be boys, we'll be like it forever. It's a bittersweet symphony with birds of a feather. Hmm. Right. You want my opinion? Yes. I think oh, he's very a cross between Jamie hold on. T and wait, wait there a sec. Go ahead. All right, say it again. Better. Yeah. Um, I think he's a cross between Jamie T and maybe Slow Tie. Yeah, he's all right. He can rhyme. Um, he's fine. Don't like his trainers, they're dirty. Um, <laughs> don't like his haircut, not good. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. If you like that sort of thing, go and have a look at the Sleaford mods, you'll appreciate them, mate. He did this other one that reminded of reminded me of you. Um, right, where is it? Oh, charming. Uh, you'll, you'll see why in a minute. Oh God, what is he going to fall kit or what? I've got really itchy eyes lately, and I don't know why. It's getting on my fucking nerves. Apparently, mm -hmm. something you get of arthritis because Sean's mum's got it. Get dry eyes or itchy eyes. Um, Peaky blinders for sure, says Colin. Whiffed waffles, a discount Disraeli and the small G. <laughs> small gods. I don't know what that means. So I know I watched it last night, this other video. And now it's not fucking there. So I'm going to have to go and find it. Yeah. And then look for it again. Videos. Because YouTube has now changed the way that it puts its fucking videos up. Because they're knobheads. They change every week, mate. They've changed it all to from live to videos to shorts. I bet you get the shorts and you, you stick the shorts up your ass. <laughs> That's what you do. Because I'm not interested in YouTube shorts. They're all right. Some Stop of them are right. me a fucking trial, you fuck. Right, here we go. Right, I'm going to mute myself when this is on because then I can listen to it too because for some reason it won't play the YouTube out of my um my actually I don't need to listen to it uh, right so present and then share screen and this one share tab audio so what just stopping a dickhead right so um full screen oh boom yes right no you can't hear it. Oh my god, oh. music these days is so lame. I can't listen to the radio without cringing my big tits. Can you tell me why I'm, I'm this reminds me of your view. Not them. Oh what I thought of you when I saw this. Much better. The press shot sounds so ill, but I call the health inspector. People of the world, people of love of the nation. This is my John, yes, I've been a good vibration. If we catch a vision, I'm elevating the ratings, it's blatant, I'm painting the shape of this great innovation, I'm making When I step up on the scene, fresh like what? when I brought his king, start the complexion, uh -huh. I'll be the master, sweeties. I'm sweeties. in the stone, I'm the new king, I'm I thought I'd be like sweeties. a minute to finish this pinnacle of music, please, it reminded me of Goldie looking chain, please don't abuse it, lose oh it, my it, god, friend of conversation, I ran went to see them, like didn't you, in Wales, yes I did, are they all alive or are they all in prison, I got what you need, yeah, I don't know if maggots are alive, please, <laughs> this is really clever how he's done all this music, mate. And there's loads of his stuff on there. He, um, he was 27 and he had autoimmune disease. And then he had really bad mental health problems because of it. He didn't come out or do anything for nine years. I don't know what this bloody Disney bit is going on. It's one of those constant dickheads that are vaping all the time. I thought you were my jaws. How you gonna leave? When I snap my trap, I crack your back. Hey, I thought this was really good. Shake it all around. Move to the sound now. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. I'm 
king like Kong, so pass me the crown. I'm worried like Xena, Julius like Caesar, cooler than an ice cube sitting in the freezer. I'm lucky, but I'm mean. I'm in Iceland. Into a believer. I got what you want. I got what you need. Look at the trappings. They're buff, they're nice. Banging on my MP3. Oh, there we go. BX has got it while I liked it. Beastie Boys. Sabotage. Vintage classic. Bounce like a lasty. Old school trick. Bounce like a lasty. Old school trick. Bounce like a lasty. Old school trick. Yeah. Normally I don't listen to music, but then for some reason uh, that the streets one came up on my recommended on YouTube last night. So I more, I'm nothing less, puffing, draw, passing left, and then uh, oh, on her chat. pretty good. I wonder what the story is. I always find the stories are really interesting on why, why they do what they do. And there you go, look at that, busy bitch. And then vaping again. She's dressed like... My phone rings and there will be, like be murder school, so on charge on the other side of the room. I, got you want, I, I think they've got a couple of homeless people who join in here or, or drunk dads. It's one of the two. Oh, yeah. One yeah. on the right hand side. And over the guitar, she's going to go full Jeff Jarrett in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and and knock in. someone out. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, this is what I did. Go this on. is what I did. This is what I dug out. Look, my Beastie Boys record. I'm saying they're, they're like the Wish Beastie Boys. <laughs> is that worth money? Um, um, a little bit. Yeah, it's um, no sleep till Brooklyn and Posse in effect. Oh, not the album. No, no, I've What's got the album. the album. A double album. I've got. Oh, mate, I've got the more on up here, more on there. But you could just Somewhere. listen to it on MP3. It'd be a lot, take up a lot less room. You need help, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so I was telling you that I want to get one of those arcade things where it's got 200,000 million games on. Which one do I go for? Because uh, Mike doesn't Pandora like box. games. Huh? A Pandora's box. If you want to, just want a cheap one, no, I don't, do I don't that. Care how much it, I don't care how much it costs. All right, you flash bastard. Um, yeah. Got no children to um, pay for anymore, have I? Well then, get yourself a proper proper one then, a full on arcade. In, yeah, well, I can't reach it then, can I? You said money was no option, idiot. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't so. have to buy a ladder to use it, do I? Um, I'd like like that one you had, that big arcade stick. I can just whack it on my my desk that I'm at now. Connect, plug it into my um 32 inch screen I got here, and then and then bang away like a, a an angry rabbit. How much was that? Um. I got it very, very cheap because the geezer didn't it. know what it was. <laughs> oh, I is it one it. with like 100,000 games built into it? Yeah, it's got 8,000 games on it. 80? Eight. Eight? I want yeah. all the Spectrum games and the Commodore games and every Atari game and all the you Amiga games. Those, you can put those on That's Why them. haven't you? Because I'm too busy playing other games. That I want. Oh, mate. Sunset Riders. Oh, heaven. Heaven, just nostalgia. My, that's my son's first game that he completed with his dad. I don't know what it Whoever is. He was <laughs> nice it's, um, hot round. It's good. Yeah, well, you know, he's the milkman. He always comes around on a certain day. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a it's a cowboy game. It's very good. You go around shooting people. It's great. As good as Red Dead. Much better. How dare you, um, Mister uh, Mister Waffle says. Hope they don't suspend the channel. No, you're allowed to listen to mu uh, to music and videos and stuff, and then they just take any um, revenue you get from it, which is usually about fifty p. Uh, it's if you play. It, we've even played foot, um, Arsenal games on it. We played uh, about a thirty second clip, and then the video got um, taken down. So uh, oh, yeah, don't play football, but you can play music. But then they'll just claim it all, and they're 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 quite. Welcome to the the fifty p that we would usually make from this. So, uh, do they do those ones that would come already? Is it got like a Raspberry Pi inside? It's sort of. It's um. You can buy certain different colours, different boxes. There's hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Pandora's box seven, eight, nine, 
9X, 9SX, 9D, 3D, SX, Saga. There's loads of them. Hmm. Um, I've got the Pandora Box 9 3D, and it's um, it's great. It's got everything that I want on there, like the old um, Punisher. Um, what else that I've got on there? What I play all the time: Alien versus Predator, um, Sunset Riders, uh, Kung Fu Master, the best game ever made, um, just for the soundtrack. I'd like um, the Dreamcast games on them. Some of them are all right. Some of them are a bit ropey. Yeah. Um, it, it depends on the refresh rate on it all. But yeah, overall, it, it's it's really really good. Some good Amiga um, like emulations on there. It's really really good. That's what I want because I got that like saying to you after the show the other day that um, yeah. Tony, a mate of ours, he um, he put one in an old Spectrum Plus case with the plastic keys and yeah. uh, put a Raspberry Pi in there, and I use my old PlayStation Three controller with it, um, Bluetooth. Brilliant. But it doesn't remember your high scores, and it's a nightmare to get it to go. And each game you have to go and configure the controller for each game as you go, and it might remember it. And then I can't even get the controller to work with it, so it's in the uh, spare room at the moment. But I just want to say mm. that I can just turn it on. And then it's done, and then I can play it. Um, oh, you! There is an there's a decent one that's really really cool, very sort of um, poncy. It's called a Mister. Go and check that's that the what I was going to ask you about. The um, do you ever watch the retro retro man cave? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes is, I do. He follows me on Twitter. Ah, only from the early days, and he, I think he's, he probably muted me because the amount of nonsense that I tweet if anyone follows me, <laughs> he, he's not the sign of person that will go along with any of that. Oh, Steph's here, just finishing my finished my ironing. So, what Steph, Aww. you do live, you do live. I suppose you've got a little lady you can go and do that for you, get someone in, go through your, people, your smalls. Yeah, there's people that are paid to watch and do that on the old oh. uh, OnlyFans. Wow, well, Steph, Steph is a man of of, of many talents. Yeah, the no. mister. What do you know about that? Because that's the one mm. I was looking at. Because that seems like it's all done. But then they go, you've got to um, the ROM. No, not the ROMs. Do you, the, how yeah. do you get the games onto it? You have to. Um, you've got to have the emulators. It will mainly come with all the emulators on it. Yeah. The only thing that you've got to get is the ROMs. That's the hardest part. What they don't tell you to, you know, because they banned they all the sites that had them, didn't they? Yeah, but well, will have them all. Oh, I've got them all. Uh because yeah, uh, Sega and and Sony, no, not um, Nintendo, were the ones, weren't they? You even you even blink, uh, look at them in, in a funny angle. They go, well, "We're shutting that site down, and we're taking you to court." It's uh, ridiculous. Mark is here. Hello, oh, Marky boy. Good evening. Yes. So uh, yeah, that that one. That, how much are they? Because I've not looked into it. I think they're going at about three, three or four hundred pound. And how is that better than the ones that you've got? They've got a lot more support, um, and there's constantly um, there's constantly updates for it, so it's mm. it will never run out of date. Um, and it's just a bit more professional than the Pandora's box. You know, if the software goes a little bit, like a bit, oh, can't be bothered. Let's make another Pandora, Pandora <laughs> seventy five thousand. <laughs> yeah, um, they're really really good. Um, and also, I'd recommend you've got your yeah you've got your PS3 controller. Yeah. Um, what's that bloody thing that I've got with my little PlayStation? Ah, oh, what are they called? I've got like this little dongle. Yes, yeah. it's, it's awesome. It's really really good. I use that with my. Uh, I've got one of those PlayStation Minis, the little the little ones, and I've got a little hacked thing on there. So I've got thousands of games on that as well. Yeah. Which is great, you know. I bring it into work and, and I get all like my service users using that, and they love it. Get the old PlayStation games up. We're playing WWF, and it's great. Yes, so I definitely want to get one. BX Gunner says I'm about to play some Earthworm Jim on the Switch. Who you got a Switch? Brilliant. Yeah, I ain't. Oh mate, I need my sons. Which, if it don't work on a PC, I'm not interested. I've got my I've got my Xbox One in the cupboard here. And I've just bought Forza 5 for it. Got My mum got it for me for Christmas. I've not played the Xbox One properly in about two and a half years. Just completely went off it. Well, Forza 4, I prefer Forza 4 than yeah. I do Forza 5. Why? Um, I don't know. I just thought it was more playable. 
you know, I just I just enjoy playing that. I'm still, I'm, I'm playing it now and again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a bit me me. Uh, Mars Gunner says, "Wow, well, you found someone lower down the totem pole than Magic. That's what Mike calls himself, Magic Mike." Uh, well, I mean, they could sumo each other. I mean, that that would uh, that'd be good. Mars Gunner also says, "Hi, all weekend has turned out in okay in the end." It, hi, oh, yes, I think you meant a uh, comment there. Weekend has t- turned out right again. As they, as they would say, yeah, that's a, a, an absolute stroke <laughs> of luck. Um, that, I was listening to those dipshits, Chris um, Chris Sutton and what's the other dickhead, mm. the Welsh one, Robbie Savage, absolute mm. pair of pricks. And they were on there and then Arsenal fans were ringing up and they're going, were you cheering Were you cheering Spurs today? And then they were going, oh, kind of, oh, how could you do that? I'd like to rung up and they, I'd, they'd have gone, but did you cheer Spurs today? I go, well, no, because if uh, things I wanted to happen would happen, then Spurs would be relegated and you two wouldn't be doing this show. It would be Kelly Cates and Ian Wright and see how long much of that I'd get out before I'd get kicked off. Because that all they yeah. do is just a game of, yeah, yeah, you said this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, your career, <laughs> you did this. <laughs> Fuck off, BBC. Why have you got these uh, fucking dipshits? Yeah, on the, on wasting an hour and a half of everyone's time, Robbie sat because you can tell when someone's stick as shit because they say you know all the time. Combined with yes. what's what's the current buzzword that dipshits use? Literally, I literally saw that. I'm literally popping next to you know. If you can say the sentence you're about to say and it means the same with or without the word literally, you don't need the word literally in it. Because I get <laughs> fucked off by dip, and like that, the old ones used to be at the end of the day, and basically another moron that ring up the radio and go blah 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 blah, okay, blah blah, okay, blah 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 blah. Usually they're Welsh people because they're the fucking worst out of all of them. Fuck, I hate the Welsh. I hate the Welsh and I hate Mexicans. Well, I only then. know one Mexican and I hate him. Well, Danny Trump. Um, when are we oh, building reason- this wall? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, when when I have uh, Mike on it, another Mike, uh, Mike Mike Hertz, he's Mexican. Well, he's not, he's American, but he's family of Mexican. So he claims to be Mexican Guatemalan. And uh, I got into a thing and I said, I hate you, I hate Mexicans. He said, why? I said, because you ruined Breaking Bad and you ruined Better Call Saul with all those nasty, violent Mexicans. If you take those out, it would have been, it'd have been lovely for everyone. It would have been a lovely afternoon. Completely different story. But no, the Mexicans had to come in and kill everyone. So now I don't like Mexicans. Mike said it's okay. I'm allowed to. So if a Mexican says I can say that, then that's fair enough. But the Welsh, no time for the Welsh. I've got PTSD when it comes to Welsh people. Everyone here knows why. I can't even talk about it. <laughs> well, um, I don't know what to say, but apart from yaki da or... <laughs> don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Steph says, I, I finished Dead Space Remake this weekend. I thought the first Oh, yeah? How did you get shit. on? Did you enjoy it? How did he get on with it? Steph is a gamer. He's, he does all that. We've got a little group full of gamers where we all talk about games and stuff. Yeah. in there. Um, he runs the the uh, Burkamp Wonderland. Used to have a, a FIFA team. He runs that as well. But oh, okay. uh, they're, all, they're all too busy adulting now, so it doesn't go anywhere. Mm. We're one game closer to the title. Yep, that's right. BX says the Nintendo Store has NES, Genesis, and SNES games available. Yep. See, this is something that one is me about the Americans. Right, these words here. Nez and SNES. They will say Nez, but then they will say S N E S. No, it's a SNES. A SNES. Why would you say Nez but not SNES? You either say N E S or you say and S N E S or you say Nez and SNES. Mm. And it's not a Genesis. It's a, it's a Mega Drive. It's a Mega Drive, and also <laughs> they do um, N sixty four. Do they? Unless yeah. I compile oh. it, I'm more interested. I agree with uh, for Dean Forza. It's for 4.5. What 4.5 mean? There isn't a 4.5. Forza 4 is better than 5. Or does he mean... That's Explain what, what you mean by that, Steph. It. I think he's rated Forza, Forza 5 as 4.5. Rubbish. Shite. I think, I think he might mean it was uh, it's, four, uh, it's four, four and a half because yeah. it's the same as 4. Okay. It was, I loved it. I huh? absolutely adored it. It was brilliant. The way the seasons changed. It was changing seasons in the Mexico one. Hot, very hot, really hot, hot, kind of hot, dusty. Small breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Sandstorm. 
Yeah. Uh, Mark Smiley, jolly good. Mask Gunner, I don't want Spurs getting Europa League. I don't want them getting anything apart from disappointing. A woman rang up Radio 5 after and went, oh, I'm really happy that, that Harry Kane has got the record. He's beat Jimmy Greaves. But I do kind of feel for him because he's not won anything. And she reckons he'll be off to Man United in the summer now that he's broke well, the record. I heard um, uh, Bayern uh, sniffing around him as well. Lucky go there. They wouldn't understand a fucking word he says. Mark says, I don't... Did you say I don't know why Bob are paying our TV licences? I don't have one. I've never had one. Don't watch telly. If you're the BBC or watching, I don't watch telly. I don't watch telly. No, good. Uh, Steph says, Dead Space was amazing. Okay. No. No, I don't agree with that. I didn't like it on the 360. And I don't like the look of it now. No. It's all right. It's all right. So what are you playing at the moment, then? Me, um, oh god, I'm, I've gone back sort of playing. I, I like Tomb Raider, I'm playing old school oh, Tomb Raider. Um, and what else? I'm just mainly playing old school games. Um, as I say, getting that arcade machine out and playing old school games with me boy, educating him with some proper, proper games. None of the shite that he plays now. It is amazing that back in the the eighties and nineties, and maybe even the early noughties, a game was only meant to last you four or five hours, not four hundred hours like some of the games nowadays do. I know they're bigger and then they've got more um, more space on the uh, hard drives, and instant access. And they were now on DVD; they're not on uh, dodgy JVC tapes, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm playing the game back in the day, and I would get these games for the Amiga or, or my Commodore 16 or my Spectrum, and I go, I'd get the game. I'd have, they wouldn't tell you how to play it. You'd have no idea. You'd go, I don't even want no magazines that would go into any kind of detail. I used to get shoot, zap, 90 minutes, and Commodore user, uh, oh, did CMVG. You? I used to get all of those. I oh, all my CVG, CVG, yeah. and Games Master. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and uh. You just get the game, and most of the time I'd be playing the game. I go, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. No, I then went through the Amiga stage where I'd have copies of every single game that ever existed. No idea where they are. I've asked my daddy for the loft at Bevan, and he said, no, I don't think so. There must have been four or five hundred discs. You had loads because I remember, I think I actually got some from you. Did I sell them to you? No, good. No, you don't, there's no refund on them now. <laughs> no, I got them from you or from Scott next door. Uh he had a heart attack. Shut he had to up. Have a tri- skinny little fucker. He had a triple heart bar pass. Bypass. Don't know what a bar pass is. I think it's where you let sheep go by. Yeah. He, he, he was a bit odd though, wasn't he? He was a bit Yeah, uh, he's in, in property now. I bet he is. He's a bit of a yeah. lurky o mate. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> I like Same to stay didn't like him. Same, same, same birthday as my brother. So, uh, oh, okay, yeah. right, yeah. Danny. Yes, what Dean? is your favorite, 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 favorite ever video game? I mean, or have I got to go through platforms? No, not platforms, but maybe genres. Because if you had to have one game to play forever, it'd probably be uh, GTA 5. Oh, no, because you can just get in it and you can just get lost in it, but then you'd want. You'd want many different things. So, football manager. Uh, well, I'm not having much me. luck with the one I'm on at the moment. I'm manager of Gloucester City, and you beat I beat the top of the team, league teams. I smash them four one at their place, and then I go and play the team in twenty four from lose one nil at home. And I'm thinking, how the how the fuck is this? How have I got two strikers that last season both scored thirty five goals in the Conference South, and I play them both together, and that maybe they will get none. And then I got one bloke didn't score for five games. Brought him on as a sub with half hour to go. He banged in five and then hasn't scored for the next five games. How does that work? <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. It drives me up the wall. But games that I like, it would be um, Skyrim. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Great game. Oblivion. The, you, even, know they're doing even, Sky, even you know they're doing Sky Oblivion, don't you? No. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, here we go, people. Another video. Um it is. Um, it's a fan-made thing. They've got all the source code from both games. They're mixing them together, adding a load of, load more stuff, and then they are going to be releasing it at the end of next year. But it's taking forever. Sky, and it's going to be um, 4K by 
B. There we go. I'm not sure how you spell it. Sky Oblivion. Now I've got to go and find a decent video for it. Um, this one here. Yeah. to see this. And... Definitely. Has it got stuff like with like the extras, you know, like Morrow Wind and all that? It's got bits of everything in there. Quality. Videos. Now, where's the popular? That's a teaser trailer three. Okay, I found one from three weeks ago because I've been working on it for about five years. Yes, I want to see it. Need to wait for that advert to fuck off. Right, <laughs> make that go full screen. And then here, I hope people don't mind us talking about these things. I mean, I think most of you like computer games. Present, share video, Elder Scrolls, Sky Oblivion, share. Ooh. So all the graphics have been updated, all the drivers, all the, I think they're using the uh, Chaos yeah, Engine 5 or something. No, that's a game, isn't it? Whatever oh, engine. Quake, Quake huh? Engine. The Quake yeah. Engine. Yeah. And here we go. Look, it keeps now, fucking doing this and then taking the it out of... The engine. ruby throne sits empty. The enemy so... For people who don't know, there was Oblivion, which was Skyrim, which was uh, the Elder Scrolls 3, and Skyrim was Elder Scrolls 4, and they're, so what they've done, they put the maps next to each other, it means you can go from one map to the other as one giant map, they've updated all the armour, they've invented new weapons, new timelines, new, new spells, new everything, and then they've made it 4K with the latest graphics technology they've redone absolutely every aspect of the game from stones to buildings to trees to characters they've added in new quest lines new side quests and all the new voice acting for so much of the stuff got some of the original people back from oblivion to do um the talking and determine the fate of the empire and all the ray tracing i mean look at that of Cyrodiil. Yes. So this video is only uh, two minutes long. Brilliant. Every aspect of it. But they're doing it all for free. And as if you go to Twitch or uh, or um, YouTube and just type in S K Y B. How do you spell it? Uh, remember. S K Y B L I V I O N. So that's a mixture of Skyrim and Oblivion. And then go and watch them. They do. He's, the blo one of the blokes is on Twitch all the time, where he is sharing what he's doing and showing how he's, he's updating all the graphics and re redoing the, um, all kinds of things all over the place. It is absolutely amazing. And it's got I the full that. backing of um, Bethesda. I, I need that in my life, definitely. That it's, is the that's game. My... The longest I've played continuously any one game is when um, uh, Skyrim came out. I did 17 hours. That's brilliant. It's, it, I got the. Um, I was so happy because I got myself a little um, a little patch where I was Lionel, and I had um, <laughs> I had the Sword of Omens. It was brilliant. <laughs> uh, what are people saying here? Oh, Mark says the young ones. Yeah, like with the um, the no TV license. BX. I thought. I may just buy a PS5 for Harry Potter. No, I'm not kidding. I hope the Harry Potter game is shit. I want to get that too. It's um, yeah. Some people said there was something about it that made it that was rubbish. Oh but no, I can't remember what it was. No, completely gone. Mark says I used to get tape copies of Commodore 64 and ZX81 games. Yeah, I used to borrow my brother's one, a little uh, red uh, tape to tape thing. And yes. Then, uh, one of my brother's nice mates, Shane. Up. That's it. And he had all the games, and Shane wouldn't lend any of them to me. Pilot Wings, the one of the Dreamcast game that was never released. Uh, and they game. found a copy. Yeah, they've now found it, up, finished it, and released it. So you can go and get that. BX says Sega had the best arcade games after Burner. Yeah, I mean, you remember some of those things. And, and then uh, when you run to where you get in it, you got on the bike and uh, um, Chase HQ. Yeah. All them ones. G Lock was the best one, mate. When I never had, spent um... time in arcades, so. though. What? You didn't? No, we had one in Huntingdon, just full of new pedos and nonces. Cheers, my granddad used to run that. <laughs> did he? <laughs> he did, yeah. What, the back of the cinema? 
Uh, yeah, that's right. Underneath it, it was called <laughs> Runs. Yeah, it was called <laughs> Runs Arcade, and then uh, my granddad been, uh, took over. Did he? Yeah. Oh, was it all right? Did you just go in there and play for free? Oh, dude, it was a haven. You walked in there, you're either going to be sold, robbed stuff, or just sit in there and play video games all day. So, all right then. <laughs> go down to Bunters, treat yourself to a bit of meat and chips, and then um, straight back up the arcade, sit in there and play all them all day. No, but everyone's smoking in there, so I wouldn't have gone in there. Cause it was minging. It was fucking awful. BX says, my missus said tacos for dinner, but I have to make them. I just go no, and buy lovely. them. Mark says, nice graphics with the Sky Oblivion. It was indeed. See, normally, there'd be a whole list of games. I'm going, oh, I'm ready for this game to come out, or this one looks good. But at the moment, I don't even take any notes of what's coming out or no. what's, what's been out. I don't really care. I've sold. I mean, next time you're... You know, no doubt come over sometime between now and the day you die and you'll yeah. see all the games and stuff i sent you that list of all the stuff i'm selling on ebay that goes what is it i've got six days and then i'm off holiday for it because i had it on holiday mode for two months because of all the royal mail striking and so it's going to yeah. come off that and then i'll be selling shit again but i've got hundred i've got i found a a massive big plastic kids toy box with about five thousand trading cards in there pokemon <laughs> Um, all the old uh, Panini ones, thousands of them. Well, now I sorted, the, I sorted them all out into alphabetical order. I found about 400 Corinthian figures. I've got loads of Everton ones. Uh. <laughs> 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 so they're all right. in the draw. About about uh, 70 packs of Top Trumps, all from the 70s and 80s. Oh, my God, dude, uh, really? I know, and they're all in, because I bought them, never played them, and just kept collecting them all these years, and so they're all in mint condition. Danny, you make me vomit. I know. You think you've got a lot of stuff there. And my Calax is a 5x5 five five full of stuff. Then all the units I've got in here are all full of stuff as well. All got to go. I don't want any of it. Going to spend it oh. on cocaine and whores. Yes, and that's just for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? What you got? What are you going to show me? Well, I don't know. I've got Dreamcast games. I've got SNES games. I've got Master System, whatever you want. Loads. Loads. And I, well, I had a bit of a deal with some geezer. He, um, <laughs> I was in CEX doing a bit of trading, as you do as a scouser. Yeah. Um, but you and, walk in and they go, oh, Jesus. But, well, I give it, oh, no, he's back. And then <laughs> it's the track they see me tracky first and they went, oh, no, we're shut. Um, the ge there was a geezer there and they were saying, oh, no, we can't take that because that box is um, slightly ripped. So I went, I sort of like spun over. I went, we, we, we got that then, geez. He went, oh, I've got a load of these Dreamcast games. I said, what you got? And he said, oh, I'll have a look through these. So I got a boxed, I got a boxed Dreamcast keyboard, um, two light guns from the proper Sega um, Dreamcast light guns themselves um a fishing rod two controllers some vmu which fishing uh, rod though the proper one or the um, yeah, third yeah. party one no no proper dreamcast ones oh, yeah. on. bx i'll put that link in there that link won't work um this is the proper link to my store but everything in there is it says there's nothing there at the moment until the i think the 11th is when it opens again and then there's about 700 things in there go on, carry oh, on. Thing, yeah um and i got Shenmue, which uh, is like I've got one and two, yeah, and I've got Blue Stinger and what else did I get? Who wants the Billy Millionaire? Uh, um, and Power Stone, and oh, yeah, all for the princely that, sum yeah. of thirty pounds. Jesus, I went for a stage a couple of years ago. And uh, no, probably about 10 years ago, where I recollected all of my Dreamcast stuff. Um, yes. Like, so much of it. And it was nobody wanted any of it. And then I spent about a year collecting it all, probably had uh, about 40 or 50 games. And then uh, then decided to sell it all because I thought I'm never going to play it. I just enjoy uh, the fun of, of collecting it all. You know, Trevor, don't you? Trevor, yeah, he's got, he's got a massive amount of everything. I mean, he's a wrong one, but he's, uh, he sometimes pops in here. But he's uh he don't he's I, I met him uh for the first time in ages in the park last year no twenty one, and I met him about seven o'clock. He's walking his awful dog shitting all over the place, and we were there mm -hmm. in the park talking for about four hours. Don't know how he managed to stand up for four hours, but he's an old man now. Bless his socks. I haven't seen him for a long while. 
add an overlay. I don't want a fucking overlay. Oh, maybe I do want an overlay. Yes, what else you got? Um, Hold on, I'm not looking. Should I be looking at this? Yes. Hold on, I'm trying to find so. Billy Ocean. <laughs> nice. Um, right, should I just pull out a random thing then? Oh. Yeah, whatever you want. Here we go. Check this out. This is a bit of old school stuff. With my record collection. I'm just looking through my... Um... I've still got all the photos when I used to sell all my old computer stuff. Oh, no way. Deep Heat 3. No, nope. it's got classics like um, "People Hold On" by Cold Cut, featuring Lisa Stansfield, um, mm. Voodoo Ray, a guy called Gerald. Um, what else could be good on there that you would you'd really like? Um, I don't like music, so you struggle with that. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Yes, you would. Me, myself, and I, De La Soul. Oh, now we're talking. There you go. Quality bit of music. That's yeah, that's got... your. You like you like hip hop, Dan? Yeah, I used to. I don't like to any, don't like anything anymore. <laughs> but uh, there's there's you and me, Champions League final. You ruined it. Fit. I've still got. Didn't you get a shirt? We both got a shirt, and you gave me yours. I think you did. So I think I've still got both of them too, and the two from the last game at Highbury, and the two from the um, Bergkamp's testimonial. I've still got them all bagged. Never been taken out of the bags. Wow. <sighs> Here's some old photos. Look how my how my house used to look then. This is probably oh, the is that a car I worries? Yeah, a car I worries platoon. Oh, you've got some 19, good games. 1998. We found out we were pregnant with Sean. So her room, oh, the, the room that I had all my computer stuff in, we had to empty it all out. So flogged everything. Some of these things now, big box oh, games mate. are worth a fortune. Fuck me, you got Nexus. That was I remember that. That was that plastic case, the black top. You had to turn it over to the side to open it up. No idea. I remember that. All of these. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Last ninja and possible mission. Oh, beachhead. Oh, you got some crackers. They're cobra. What a game. So uh sold everything to clear out oh, the room you for us. Uh, you make me then, really uh, <gasps> a boxed Amiga. Look that, I think that. that might have been my own one. Amiga five hundred. A five hundred. And then this one is a boxed Spectrum Plus 2. Oh, my God. That is divine. <laughs> uh, more me. big box games for the Commodore. Commodore 64 discs. Yes. They were the hard ones, weren't they? The, the, the real hard, thick ones. Yeah. Uh, no, big floppy ones, about five and a quarter inch. What were the what were the ones? Oh, no, that was for the... Um, Amstrad. The Amstrad, yeah. The 464. Oh, my God. F F16. <laughs> And then the last factor, I got a box full of data, oh. cassette recorders. Oh, God, I've just spent myself. <laughs> so I, oh, um, divine. The, my walls there were painted by, um, what's Ken's brother? Ken, uh, Ken Wright's brother. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't. I, I wasn't <laughs> fond of him. Raymond, that's it. Lovely bloke. He um he painted all he painted all the decorating here for me. What did he most of it? And then he got bored and went home. So we had to do the skirting boards ourselves. But that was kind of him. It was very kind of him. I've got um, more pictures of uh, you go and talk about something else and then I'll go and find Well yeah, what do you want pictures. me to do? Um, oh you want. yeah, I'll I'll get this little booty out. This is a cracker. Oh, What is it? The little ones. Three... Used... What's it called? I can't couldn't make out what it's called. It's called. It's a Tomitronic. I've got all of them. Um, I've got ones that are out, and I've got the rest of them are all boxed. And it's a three D like video game. You pop to. You used to wear them like the goggles. Look through it, yeah. and then you've got the buttons on the top to go, mate. I know, I, I know the other ones are used to have little discs in them for Disney. But I've not seen the ones you've they've got. You've got there. Oh yeah, and this one's yeah. You've got to put the batteries in. You've got the three batteries in the bottom, and then oh, they're amazing. I think oh, I ain't got my other one up there. 
um yeah they, they had this one was um this one sky fighters which is basically you had like a biplane and it, it would give you a track to go around on and you'd have to fill up um like you'd have to hit these hot air balloons but you were being chased by these like sort of it was like the red baron chasing you it was brilliant is that worth money um i think they are the ones that are all boxed and all that are yeah um oh, it's, it's, just, it's just i think this is this is my actual one from when i was a kid so when did I don't know when this came out? Was it 86, 87? And this is my actual one. You can see, yeah, where I've got like, little scuffs and things on it, but so you've had that it. since it was new. Uh yeah, yeah. Bought it when it was new. Um, oh, I found my dream car stuff. Oh, I need to see. Yeah, yes. mate. <laughs> Thund Thundercats! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so what, what have you got that is worth the most amount of money in all of your collection? What Star one Wars stuff. Oh, um, probably... Oh, I don't know. My records are worth a few, Bob. Um, probably this, Dan. Oh. Right. This is an actual poster, what I got on my 21st birthday. And... On on the actual Hold on, I'll bits and pieces please. here, it's it's from. Not got your address, has it? Oh, this is my old address. That's, okay. that's like donkey's years. Well, with scrubs. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's from the Skywalker <laughs> Ranch. Yeah. And in here, it's a it's a poster. Uh, where is it? Is it in here? Don't yeah. rip it. I don't want to see a grown man cry. <laughs> yeah this is this is what i got um from yeah from california what you picked it up or you bought no, it, I got it sent to me for my 21st birthday and it's um an actual um you know how much i hate star wars you what and you know how much i hate star wars well yeah it's star wars it's a star wars theater poster but the other one I've got in there is, is uh, Happy Birthday, Best Wishes from Rick McCallum, the producer. So how much are they worth? Um, I don't know. A few, few hundreds. And then I've got... I don't, mate, I've got so much stuff. Um, I don't know. I've got, like, Boba Fett helmets and um, old music bits. Um, video... There's loads, Dan, honestly. And my mum and dad keep coming up and saying, oh, I've got these. Do you remember this? This was in the loft and pulled out all my old toys. I'm thinking, Jesus Christ. I've still got my, um, once a week, my mum would go shopping down to Tesco and B-Jams. And then uh, I'd yes. buy my pocket money. And then I'd go into t the Tesco's that was down there. And I'd buy my matchbook, um, lorries. Match was it matchbook? Yeah, lorries with the matchbox. traders. Matchbox. Matchbox. And I've still got all of those in their boxes at my dad's. After I finished playing with them, I put them all back in their boxes. Oh, and, uh, mate. Oh, you, uh, you've, you've got to. Yes. You know, you were saying, oh, we are. I was taking the piss out of one of the ladies I used to work with. And she said, oh, I worked in B Jams. I went, oh, right. So I got a cookery book. Look, and it's an actual one from B Jams. <laughs> it's got, yeah, look, octopus books. In association with B jams. <laughs> For people in America don't know. Um, we have a shop over here called Iceland, and it's now called it used to be called B jams. And we're just obsessed with old shops because they change their yes. names and they die. Oh, here. Yeah. This is what my dad found in his in the loft. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, your old annuals from bloody hell! That must have been the early eighties. That is eighty. I would say 84, maybe 85. Is that worth no, anything? 86. Worth something, maybe. Is your boy now your boy is nine, he's not really interested in most of this stuff, is he? And just as you left on your own. Those golden <laughs> days where everything you said they thought was gospel, gone. Dead. And you wait till he get when he gets to 13, he will he'll fit, he'll hate you, and he won't want to know you again until you're until he's about 19 or 20. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, well, at least you'll have another spare room when you put, get angry and kick him out. Oh, we'll be out by about 11. <laughs> <laughs> right, what else we got? 
Transformers. Yes. Adam used to. I remember Adam. Um, you do know Adam, didn't you? Went to the football with us. Adam Hurst. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hursty. Yeah, he died, didn't he? It was awful, mate. I know. Absolutely awful. First appendix, wasn't it, or something? I'm not sure. I don't know what the true the true thing only, about it. I don't know, but it was, was only awful. 31. He was lovely, a lovely lad. Yeah, as long as you didn't annoy him, then he'd kill you. But apart from that, well, he loved you me. <laughs> no, he didn't. Put up Check that one. Come. Ring Raiders. No idea what that is. That's that's a sexual book. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, don't know what that is. Galaxy Rangers. No, absolutely brilliant. Beyond, have you read Anything? all these since? Oh wait, wait, hold on. Another mask action book. And then, what does that say? Terror Hawks. Uh, I never watched that. It's just give me the willies. Any kind, any kind of a marionation gives me the willies, and I can't watch it. <laughs> I, I can't deal with it. They all smell musty as well. They smell divine. Well, have, you, have your parents moved from Bevan? No, they were just. Um... You've got to take this shit out of my out of this fucking loft. The loft will fucking come in. It'll go through. We'll all die. You look. All your figures will squash us. So I was like, you know, count looking at the. Um, I was looking at the health plan to see how much I'd get if I did snuff them out. <laughs> weren't looking good, so I took my figures back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yeah, you're... a lot of stuff. It's just me- oh, yeah, oh, all the Jurassic Park figures. Um, so why haven't you got my little display cabinets? You just wait until she divorces you, then you'll have all three bedrooms full of display cabinets, with oh, all your stuff on display, we and the hope. sitting room. Yeah, oh yeah, we can hope that'll do. Um, <laughs> I've sort of taken over every sort of room, so I've got bits and pieces everywhere. Um, yeah, I've uh, got loads of yeah, loads of wrestling stuff. I've got oh. I've got a signed pair of the Honky Tonk Man's pants. <laughs> <laughs> who signed them for you, though? I, mean, yeah, I don't them? know. Some, some random geezer. Um, your old man did. <laughs> your old man's got you signed everything from everyone. Well, you know what he's like. Oh, to be fair, right? He used to this when he used to go on holiday. Uh, my mum used to get him a little cheeky book, so sort of like an autobiography of footballer. The fucker, when he's read it, would only sign it. Best wishes. And then, like, of some fake sort of autograph and leave him. <laughs> Someone thought they got oh, oh, it's a Simon. Oh, take that, take Put it in your bag. Put it in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Daniel? Don't say his surname. He used to live next door to you. He died, yeah. didn't he? I, I was what talking you... to his sister on Facebook. I said, how did he die? So time to do he was in prison. No. <laughs> he was weird. He was a wrong one. Yeah, Jude. No, no, not Jude. Jude was the younger one. Yeah, that's no, that's the sister. The sister's Jude. Oh, the sister was Jude, yeah. Yeah, and, and the, the, the younger one was well. Luke. I think the smaller one was called Scrotum, but that was fucking <laughs> weird. Yeah, then, it, was, it was Luke that was the younger one, but yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. What a knobhead. I yeah. didn't like the gazer. I've still got all of this, all my UFC NTSC videotapes. Some of those go for $500 each, and I can't get anything for them. Why? Because they're NTSC. No one wants you know, VHS. Get, go over, get on the old swap meets and all that balls. Get um, get your mate to do it. What's his name? Mike. Uh, you want to go to cahoots with him? He's dodgy. Um this headliners box, that's all full of unopened... Uh, I've only sold one of my still blister-packed Arsenal figures, and that was Dennis Burkamp when I sold him for 40 quid. Whoa. And here's my... Um, this is where my bedroom used to be lilac. Oh. There's my dream car stuff. Danny, I remember that. This was probably 2004, 5, 6, something like that. Yeah. I remember that. Look at all that. Look at your beautiful arcade stick on the bottom, you rotter. How much are they now? Uh, Going for about 120, 130. So I've got both types of fishing rod there, the fake and the real. I can see it. I can see them. Oh, I found, you know, I said I found an unused box Dreamcast. There's a a still packaged VMU in there that's never been opened. And I think a controller that's never been opened. Danny, you know this is like two ninety nine <laughs> talk. This is like two ninety nine a minute. I could sit here and listen to you all day. <laughs> uh, 
And there's a couple of technique speakers up the top there. You can see those little bits. Is that, is that rosewood? Is that rosewood? Is that the... what? Yeah. What, were they rosewood speakers? Yeah. Very nice. Classy. Michael, my brother will give them to me. There's another picture so you can see more stuff below. Oh, my, look at that beautiful goodness. And then this other one. And I sold it all. Bought it oh, all. You... Never played it. Sold it all. But I've still got like, I'll give Tony Steeden one, uh, a, my old box Dreamcast that I found a few years ago. And I gave him my Competition Pro Clear. I said, well, I don't oh. want it. And I gave him all my Dreamcast magazines. I said, well, I don't want them, do I? I will kill um, again. Yes. Um, I think you got your aftershaves there, Danny. Little, che little cheeky bottle of obsession and a bit of jupe. I still got those. And I, I can't wear them. The only I can't stand the smell of them. So I've got a brand, whole bottle of jupe and a whole bottle of obsession in my bedroom. The only one I can't like now is Kuros. That's it. Well, the rest of them make me feel sick. A bottle of Kuros. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, this is me when I was Jewish. <laughs> Mike made that. There's me and Sean at Highbury playing Bolton. Oh, my God. I, I'm leaning back. I'm not falling, so I'm leaning back to get myself in the frame of the photo. And then her mum decides. Her. don't know. She rang me today. Just found out, no fuckers at work. You either get the, the week off before Christmas or you get the week off after Christmas. And because the system was down when she tried to do it, everyone's taken all of the slots and she's not allowed to off Christmas at all. That's and a bit more Next year. I'd fucking quit. Me and yep. Big Show can't tell us apart. Fit. Um, I can't show that one. And what else is there? There's Mike when he was. Uh, he's he's in transition at the moment. He's he's hot. He is not hot. And there's Mike <laughs> there, and he and Henri and Lacazette, and that's Mike's son. Mike's son must look at Mike and think, "My God, what if I end up like that?" A sloth, yeah. a sloth of a human. Thierry Henry. Henry. What a beautiful man. Backstabbing scumbag. <laughs> oh, we have the Mexican flag in case Mike does, uh, the other Mike turns up. Give it a Reba. Okay. Do okay. that. That's lovely. Oh, a picture <laughs> of, uh, I think we've got a picture of uh, Sexy Frank. Oh, Travis. look at him. Look at him. A legend. And there's, uh, that is me and Monkey Boy Matt. Oh, God, yes. Busy shagging everything that doesn't move. I've still got that chair, and I've probably still got that that top. No, I'm not an NFL. I don't know what team that is. Carolina Panthers. I just wore any old team. I didn't care what which one it was. Was it Panthers or was it? No. I don't was know. it the Chargers? Could be. I think it was the Chargers you used to have. No, I had loads of them. Look at that, mate! Ridiculous, isn't it? What's Matt doing now then? Uh. 26 to life. Nice. He's, um, he's, he's uh, working for a bloke who has the contract to uh, valet all the Aston Martin cars. So he turned up recently in a V12, £250,000 Aston Martin, to sit out the front revving it and then come in. He, he has them all the time. His boss said, oh, go on, take it away for the weekend. Yeah, um, changed then. No, uh, oh, he's, he's fat and bald now. Or balding, Good. bless his socks. <laughs> Show me more. What else have you got? Some old pickies, bruv. This is this is wonderful. You ain't got any of the car park, mate, have you? Well, Bevan Close. Yes, bruv. Uh, yeah, I've got, uh, got a couple from there. Um, where would that be? I think that would be under... Yeah, come on. Get those house. up. I want to see the dogging me. caravans that used to be down the bottom. Random <laughs> stuff. Yeah, because I was um, scanning all the photos in. Oh, scanned photos. Oh, Danny, yes. Yes, bring it on. You ain't got none of the polls, have you, mate? And no, I'm not talking about Polish people. There was these polls that used to be out our, our ways, round by our streets. There was about three or four polls in the middle of the street to stop everyone ram raiding houses. And uh, we used to we used to just jump them and sit on them and talk rubbish all day and all night. I wouldn't have the ones that are out the front of yours because uh, no. I was encouraged to stay away from that that part of Bevan Close. Yeah, that but, was that um, was yeah that was the seedy part. I look at the file here. I've got them. 
I just don't know where they were. I'm going because I've got 20,000 photos on my PC. So it's just trying to get them all organized because when you scan them, it doesn't have. I have to go to my mum. Who's this? Where is this? What was this for? Where's that? And so uh, most of the time, she doesn't even know what fucking day it is. You leave her alone. She's a wonderful woman. All right, start from the top. Bevan Close. Yeah, oh, God. There's one. Oh, no, Come on, gonna... let's see if I can remember it. This must be fun for all the people at home. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somewhere there in Norfolk Road when I used to live there. Oh, my God. Oh. That's not that's Bevan Close. Yes. Um, any more? Oh yeah, it's quite a few. Yes. Um, I'm halfway down. Oh god. Oh, this is yeah. all the shit that Michael and Rob took pictures of. Oh. What you got? There's another one. Well, you just you just wait and see, young man. You I bet when I go when I go to add them all in, it's gonna go. You run out of your limit of how many you're allowed to upload at one point. Just, <laughs> just, just to wind me up. Your ten pence PC is gonna blow up. <laughs> I wish it was ten p. Cost me fifteen hundred quid. Fucking hell, Danny. Right, there you go. Open. See how many. Oh, it's it's remembered them all. There's only yes. five. There's front of Bevan Close. That's my mum and dad's house with all the green thing on it. Yep, the crack den. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my dad still lives there on his own. Uh, this is out the back. There's oh my, my dad's God. Montego estate. That's Carl with his camper van. And the red thing there, that's Dave, Scott's dad, with the uh, Mitsubishi Galant. Oh, my God. Um, there's me <laughs> oh and my, my... my Audi. Yes. I thought, I know what would be a good idea. If I take off all the all the bits and paint them yellow, that would be cool. This was in uh, 1996 I got this car. Shocking. And then when I replaced the BMW, and the BMW's registration plate was E64 MNH. And it turns out those garages are on the same road in Northampton, and they were sold within a couple of weeks of each other originally. No way. Yeah, that car was shit. I liked it, but it just fucking fell apart. There's my mum and dad's again, look a bit more overgrown. Yep. And then there's the uh, Bevan Close car park, I think. No, that's not, is it? No. No, that's not. No, because it doesn't look anything like it. Well, that one can go away. It's my brother's van, though. The purple turtle. I don't know where the bloody hell that is. Oh, but there's a monster truck there. I always thought that was until I've seen it bigger. Is that, not, that's that not up Norfolk Road, is it? No. You'd be able to hear the, the sound, sound of gunfire. Stab vest the... just to look at the pictures. <laughs> there we go. Fuck Gaming has said a uh, question for Danny and the Everton geezer. I'm hearing the whole Man City squad are fed up with Guardiola's main stars, including Bernardo Silva, Cancelo, and De Bruyne and Diaz. What's your thoughts? Other than fuck them? Well, they're, they're doing a the Liverpool, aren't they? They need, they need to put in some new blood. They're bottling it, is what they're doing. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious to see. And it then how, is. Do they, how do they get themselves out of that? They don't, do they? No. Don't worry. Guardiola will be off next season. Well, when the heat is on. I didn't do uh, this photo. Oh, it's out the, um, out the back of my mum and dad's. Come on, my dad's. Me. My dad's Rover 200 series. And that bedroom oh, there, see the trellis? The, the, the window above the trellis was mine. The, the yep. other side to my brothers and within a month of me moving out they'd knocked down the wall and he had a giant bedroom within a month of me going oh hello thank you very much <laughs> you're welcome you, back man. anytime <laughs> <laughs> god yeah. danny i remember that i remember shitty that look car. at the wheels i know he's got a shitty honda now he's happy though i suppose well you know Families, eh, mate? Well, yeah, you're not out to shoot them. Well, technically, if they try to enter your building and you don't want them there, you can. Oh, no, that's in America, isn't it? Look at all um, all of this stuff. This is... My brother's still got 
about a thousand VHSs. All of those, Mate, they are going up in I know. so much. They're all in suitcases in in that room and in the loft. And he never got rid of any of them. And now he's got all the um, DVDs that he never got rid of. Oh Thousands of them. I know, Dude, he doesn't want them. A fortune. Well, he keeps giving me stuff to get rid of. I say, well, oh. it's all well and good giving it to me. And then I list it. But then who's going to go and post the bastard stuff? I can see, there. I can see Leon. Great film. Yeah. I'll just download that again to watch. Brilliant film. Superb. Oh, what else have you got? Oh, here's a better picture. Oh, there's no no dodgy porn in it. Yes. Oh, I can see Woman in Red. Cheers. Fletch. Conan. Terminator. Oh yeah, look, you've got it. You've got he's got all in the Predator, Red Heat. All the classics. Oh mate. St. Elmo's Fire. Yeah, there's some. Oh, there's a Billy Connolly down the bottom. I've still got all. Oh yeah, I love it. They play the um, the the Albert Hall. That's very funny. That is. I've got all my old VHS of Billy Connolly still. Have you? Yeah. I think then, I've, um, look at that I think one. Things, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I can see a Jackie Chan one. All Damn. the Rockies are in the right order. One, two, three, and four. After that, don't bother with any more. No, yeah, the rubbish. Oh my god, Jumanji, <laughs> pretty woman. So one day he wants me to go through all those and put them all on eBay. I said, just keep leave it another couple of years, they'll be worth more. That is just mental. In fact, the only music I ever kept was my public enemy stuff. So I found my, I've got three set albums of public enemy. And I've got all the DVDs, no, all the, the CD albums and the CD singles. And I've got a, a Japanese import DVD, no, VHS of them in concert in Japan. Oh, I know. So I've got a couple of those on eBay for 30 quid a tape. I don't think oh, I've sold any. I've but got I kept some, that box. Um... All the other music stuff I had over the years I got rid of. Honestly, mate. Oh, uh, where is it? What have I got here? Uh, oh, Matt, uh, the Matt Hatter is there. Howdy who? <laughs> Have we seen the film about him yet, Weird Al Yankovic? No, I haven't. Uh, I've not. I don't want to. No, you've got to. BX says, I still have my original Willy Cat, lol, and half a lasso. Do you think he means Wildcat? The remote control car. The thoughts of Chairman Ali. That's um, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I know who he is. Alf Garnet. Yeah. Did you do an album? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh yes. Here you go. <laughs> Fucking EastEnders. <laughs> How much of this shit are you actually ever going to listen to? Are you just hoarding the grumble weeds? Jesus. Oh, That's, no, no. That, those things in the eighties need to just go in the bin. Derek and Clive. That is um, no, uh, Rodney. Go on. No, not Rodney King. Uh, no, Rodney Marsh. <laughs> oh, Dudley. Dudley and Moore. Dudley, Dudley Moore, Moore and Peter Cook. Yeah. And there's the other one with a sick bag. No, I've got... Uh... Oh, there it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you ready for this one? Oops. Bill Cosby, Jesus. <laughs> now. Billy Connolly. Some of those um those uh was that a talking album or a singing album? Talking. Very nice. And we'll top it off with. Hold on, what's that? Benny fucking Hill, that guy in the bin as well. <laughs> Too much rubbish. You don't know what you're talking about. Why are you running out of room to put more shit that you go, oh, I like that in the 80s, I want it now? No. There's, I've always got room for stuff. Uh, have you done a loft conversion yet, or is that on the plans? 
Uh, she won't let me. No? I've got stuff up there anyway. I've got all my Everton stuff up there. That's got to be worth money now. All those kits that you had all way through the for the eighties. They were for fortune. Um I've got all the trackies, all the um training tops, uh every colour, every away kit, home kit, fur kit, fiftieth kit, um anniversary kits. Yeah. So how much remember back in the uh, in, in the late eighties, how you so you're ten years younger than me, so back when about eighty nine. Yeah. I'm in 19 so probably the the mid 90s when uh we all had spx and british knights and all that lot are they worth anything now like, if you found your old pair have you kept any of them i bet they don't uh are they in any kind of decent condition uh i've got a pair of troop um that, that are a, a troop one of the ones that i loved and i've still got a pet do you know who runs them now who owns them oh god no jd something Huh? It's Nelly. Nelly owns oh. him. And he brought out the... Do you remember when you used to have the old... Um, they had the zip-ups with the big American flags with, like, troop written all over them and all, like, yeah. leather all... Yeah, they, he's brought them back out again. Um, I've got some LA gears. Still got LA gears somewhere. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I've got the, like, some old, old train. The, uh, the oldest ones I've got are probably from 89... Wow. And they're lovely. They're still lovely now. A pair of pumas. All my old trainers and stuff, I came to Colin next door. And then when he died, they'd put it all in a skip. You had yeah. love Air Maxes. Your Air Maxes were divine. Oh, the I purple didn't give him ones. Those. That's like the only pair I've got left, a pair of Air Max Classics. I've got Air a Max pair of those and two pairs of Sketches. What did, what did you say? Are you, a le- Are you a lesbian screw? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, you haven't seen. I mean, the I don't know if I can find a picture, but the quality of uh, these ske- I go into Sketches shops and they look at my trainers and they go, "Where do you get them from?" I say, "I can't tell you." Um, where would I find a picture of? Uh, no, You'll pull me. Today. You've got all Jamie Redknapp on me, all, all ske- wearing Sketches. What's going on? They're so good on my so what I'm comfortable on my feet though. That's the that's why I have them. They, they are they are good for what they are definitely yeah they are good now i'm trying to find a picture of my feet oh lovely garden center with moogie can you see my feet in any of these no because i'm the one always doing all the bloody recording and photos yeah no that's no good mother's day last year no so i only go out for a few months a year well, oh, Father's Day is in June. Didn't know that. I think so. Well, oh, we went to the zoo. See. Huh? Do you want to see anything else? Yeah, what else you got? Um, oh, got loads of retro gamer magazines. They're, <laughs> they're quite good to have a look at. They're brilliant. Some of them are really, really good. Um, I've got my rave tapes. Oh. Oh, yes. Got this little booty. That's a cracker. Yeah. Oh, I found a. Uh, that's, that's top quality schmutter. That is. Thanks, mate. I found my trainers. I was trying yes. to find all the colours. Which is the best pair of trainers? There, the best colour combination. Uh, none of them. If you had, how dare you? There's at least one there that's good. Probably the black on blacks at the top. The sketch air extreme man. So I've got one pair of them in black, and I give it to Sean's mum, and I've got kept the blue pair. See on the the orange and blue on the right hand side. Yep, they're my summer ones. I don't mind them. I like the bright orange ones down at the bottom as well. Yeah, but uh, trying to find any more of those uh, Air Infinity blue orange, impossible. Shop Scar said, "Can you get any more of these? I've never even seen these before, so uh, still in really good condition." So I've never seen though. any of them. Never seen any of them with the air bubbles in. Never ever. No, I think they're they're a kind of because that's what sketches do. They um they go and find other makes and they make their own version of them, don't they? Well, they, yeah, they, they cheat. That's what they do. Oh, we are. What's he found? Ice tea. 
So have you got a car boot sales looking for stuff as well? Yeah, me dad's me dad does. He goes there and picks up loads of stuff for me. Um, it's too early in the morning to get up. No, no, no. I, I normally get up and do do a few bits. Yeah. Um yeah, what have we got here? Uh oh. Who do you like? No one. Standard. Oh, here we go. Yes, this is when he went a little bit dark and a little bit. MC Hammer. Jesus. He's a bad man. Is he? Yes, he is. What's he what he's been naughty? He's um he's 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 a uh, he's a gangbanger. He, he he tries he kills people. What with his music? <laughs> is he with his, uh, parachute pants. What's that one? Houdini, old school hip hop. Never heard of it. So is he really a proper murderer? <laughs> Yeah, he um I think he had some trouble with um vanilla ice. <laughs> <laughs> it was on. Um uh, it was who was it? Um I think it was DMX. He had some trouble with DMX and he, he was gonna kill him. He's yeah, he's, he's, he's into all the gangs he, big time, yeah. He, if you check him out on, on YouTube, you'll see all like um all the stuff that he did. He's quite a, he's quite a bad man. Well he's gotta be 60 now. <sighs> he can still still got that. Is it itchy finger? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah, look. This is one of my latest as well. Iron Maiden. Superb. Look at that artwork. Divine. Nonsense. Divine. Yeah, divine. I just pick up little, little beautiful little things what I can find now and again and... Oh, Danny, treat yourself. <laughs> what is it? Oh, the Superboy. I see reviews for those. Any good? Divine. And no, look... I've, I've never played Mario. What? Yeah, Mario. never played it. You know, like those ones where you hop around and jump on the mushrooms. What's that called? What? Just That's... Super Mario Brothers? Yeah, I've never played it. This... Super is, cinema is awesome. It's a um, you got your little. It's a, it's a, it's a naughty card. <gasps> yeah, and popping it in, I got stopped. I was coming on the. Uh, where was I coming home from? I was coming home from Bournemouth, and um, I was playing it. And this geezer went, "Oh my god, I'm listening. I can hear this. Are you playing International Superstar Soccer Deluxe?" <laughs> and I went. Just looked at him and I went, yeah. And he went, what is that? I went, dude, you're unlucky because like in the bottom, you can only put like the controllers in so you can play two and three player. Yeah. Uh, did you have them all with you? Oh, he went, he went, no, I didn't, I didn't have it in my bag. He was like, oh my God, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Ah. Um, and I got it on sale. It was 40 quid. Um, See, that doesn't appeal to me. As, as technology gets better, I want things to get bigger. I don't want to go back using a three-inch screen. I'm not interested. Look, 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 look at the size of it. I don't care. It's huge. I like. That's what I want. I want that. Look, holding that. It's like the size of my head. Look, brilliant. No, no I want things in 58-inch, 4K, perfect quality, and perfect sound. I don't want to. Eh, 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 eh. But they're going to want to get that retro there. thing just so I can play some old games. But oh yeah, well, but once you get on the surround sound, mate, it's brilliant. When you have like Pac Man going off and then getting filled in, it's excellent. I turn. I am. Um, I had my big Sony seven point one surround sound system and took it all down. I never use it. I went two years about putting on the sitting room telly. Why? Doesn't that? Well, I've got rid of my Skybox. Nothing to watch. I've got two thirty-two inch monitors here, so I watch everything on those. All well, the films. I so. and I've got the 55 in my bedroom for when I'm watching other big films from like Netflix or Amazon. Yeah. But I don't want to. Uh, I don't. I, I don't want to go and sit in front of a telly because then I'll just be sitting there thinking, oh, I want to use the computer. There's, I like to do more than one thing at a time. So I'll be watching a film, and I'll have the other monitor on. I'll be looking at that, fiddling around with that. Unless it's a really good film, then I'll sit there in utter silence and then uh, and watch that. What's your chosen snack, Danny, through a through a lovely film? 
What's your at chosen? the moment, nothing. I'm not allowed. I'm not eating anything nice. But normally, crisps, crisps, crisps <laughs> then sweets, then crisps, then sweets, then crisps, then sweets, and then crisps, what? and then go and brush my teeth. What's what, left what, of them? what? What? What crisps? What are your uh, holy grail? Well, you've always got your Pringles. You can't go wrong with Pringles, salt and vinegar, paprika, yeah. um, plain. Don't like the cheese one though. Cheese and hive. Don't like. Don't like that. Okay. And I like. I like kettle chips. Yeah, they're naughty. Uh, but the best. I mean, the king of crisps is your scampi fries and your bacon fries. Nothing beats those. Scampi fries smell vile. Yeah. And bacon fries give you heartburn. Not for me. I was what about pickled onion? Come on, monster munch. No, they, I don't like those because they get claggy in your teeth. And you need to go and have a, a scrub and a clean at the dentist to get all that shit out that you, they've missed. You talk fucking absolute bilge. What a load of shit. What about knickknacks? Nice and spicy. Yeah. <laughs> um, <is> that? <laughs> that was Richard Keyes and Martin Keown. I'm just looking through some of the things Mike's put here. Oh, there you go. That's the... Uh, the Newcastle not getting done for surrounding the referee. What's this one? Oh, this is fantasy football. I'll delete that. You can only have, I think, uh, uh, 50 photos. It's me looking moody. I'm having you actually look ball. like you look like a, a, a sort of like Eastern European hitman with a little monkey on the end of my phone. My old Nokia. <laughs> now, this used to be my avatar for everything. Look at that. No. Earrings. Wow. That's. I've seen that on Grinder. <laughs> be surprised. <laughs> yeah, that was on Grinder. Big show lookalike. Yes. What's this one he's got here? I was watching it on a plane. Oh, I, I, I just is that replaying your lot? No. Brighton. Yeah. It is indeed. Oh, bless oh, him. What else have you got to show people? We've been going an hour and a half. That's usually about the um, the length of time know. that we go. What else do you want me to show you? I've got loads. Um, so Pokemon cards. Sean hmm. had, you know, the you've got the normal fold-out binders that rocks so off. Then you've got the ring binders. She yeah. had three ring binders that I bought her when she was in your, your missus's class. That's the year they were doing it. And the, that year and the year after, um, Shit. she'd never used them. They're all in mint condition. And then inside those, there was probably about 50 Lee, um, sleeves in each one, all full of cards. Oh and I've kept all the God. sleeves and I've got all the binders still. Those binders go for about 80 quid each on eBay. Oh, they're ridiculous. Yeah. I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of them. I've had to go through all of hers, organise them, take photos of them, put them all on eBay. I better work that, for that big fortune. I think the most we got for any one of them was about 40 quid. Most of them are like two, three, four quid each. Where'd you get yours <laughs> from, though? Car boots? No, from uh, when I was a little and then my dad kept loads. Are you ready yeah. for this? <laughs> I didn't even know they made a game Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Why is oh, that in yes, there? Mate. Um, because it was with a load of stuff that I was collecting, and check this out. <laughs> I've got the game, and then underneath it, I've got a your Sinclair demo disc, <laughs> a demo oh. tape. People are going mad for those things because people all threw them away and they're trying to do an archive of all the old ones. And if people have got any, they uh, there's lists of like um, retro man cave bloke Neil. I think they was they did an episode about it where someone was trying to collect all the cover things, copies of all the cover tapes, Whoa. All, the, all the software and stuff on them, and all the game previews and uh, demos. I'd, I'd I'd love to get some of them myself, you know. Um. Oh yeah, I haven't got anything in these ones. I don't think. Yeah, these are the, the old the old collectors binders. The um, this is when I was doing all my basketball and. Um, well, those are worth nothing now, they're not even worth bloody fire starter money, are they? Well, it depends if you've got stuff like Jordan. I've got um, a couple of old school rookie cards that um, I've got Kobe Bryant's rookie card. Um, I've got about three or four different ones of them from different versions. 
Um, I've got some Jordan um, silver cards. Um, who else have I got? A couple of ones by like Ray Allen, who was um, in He Got Game. Have you oh, seen yeah. that? Huh? Ray Allen, the Irish comedian with a finger missing. No, the black man who plays basketball, um, who also known as Jesus in the film He Got Game. Yeah, I've got his, I've got his card. Um, nice. I've got Shaquille O'Neal's... Um, Isn't he the one that's married to um, that uh, PK who played for Man United in Barcelona? Who's that? What? Who? How? What? How? Who? How? What? Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> she needs uh, help. Her. She's she's oh. she's not been dug up. Happens. Oh, you said you like him. You 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 like the original old school um, UFC, didn't you? Um, I picked up a, a DVD, and on the front of it was signed by um, Royce Gracie. I'm surprised he could write. Could yeah, to be honest. Fingers. They're all mental. Yeah. He won't write. No, none of them are. Rolling around with other men, rubbing their, putting their, their junk in your face. No thanks. This is normal Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else to show you apart from like my Jive Bunny records and uh, Black Lace. Oh Jesus! This that oh, stuff de- belongs to deserves to stay in the the eighties. All fucking terrible. Jermaine Stewart, why is that familiar? He used to sing a song called "We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off." To oh, have to a have good a good time. time. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so funny coincidence. The sneakers he wore in the movie, the black and white PE foam posties, are coming out next week. Oh, I don't know what that means. The film Black and White. The Black and White. They're phone posits. Phone posits. Um, they're they're really weird boots. Um, but yeah, sneakers. Who's what for? What what? Um, the Black and White. <laughs> Hold on, which, who's, you have to explain who? BX. I think. Oh, Jordan. What in um in Space Jam? Oh, uh, Ray Allen, oh, yeah. you got game. They, yeah, well, they would. Yeah, he had. Um, were they Jordan, Jordan Elevens. Was it Jordan Elevens? The tuxedo. Yeah. It went the tuxedos. I can't remember. But he's, they're bringing out fine posit versions of him. Oh, very nice. Hmm. Very nice. <laughs> right, I'm getting bored now, and. Uh... Yeah, yeah, you so thought me to tears. Meant to. So there you go, people. That's uh, a little a little insight into the kind of shit me and Dean talk about. Uh, Mike should be back next week because this week he's at uh, Gunagra. And last week he was... Uh, oh, I was going to do it last week, but then I was feeling in bed with a, a stomachache. I'd done some exercises and my stomach muscles were killing me. And then a week before that, it was he was two weeks before that he was in um, over here watching football. So yeah, yeah he'll be back next week for episode thirty-eight of of talking absolute waffle, which would be nice. So Dean, thank you very much for joining me tonight and giving a little insight into your the bullshit that you collect is going to end up in a skip. You'll be you'll you'll have had a stroke and you'll be like, oh, no, not the skip. <laughs> You sound like Harry Kane. Don't put that in the skit like that. Um, Mickey Flanagan with Sunny Window. Don't put him on Sunny Window. Don't put that in the skit, you cow. I'm Fine. not listening to you. You make me ill. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you for having me as usual, Dan. And uh, thanks for all the geezers. Yes. Oh, pennies. Yeah, BX said so. The PE stands for Play Edition. And they are Penny Hardaway's sneakers. This is Penny all... used to wear the foam posits. That's right, and he used to also wear the. Oh, they've got a strange. They've got a strange back on them. The the um, the air bubble on the back. They've got a strange air bubble. There's a kid who had them at school. But, oh, thanks, dude. That's very kind. Yes. Yeah, right. So, cheers, Dean. Thank you very, very much, everybody. And uh, I think Mike has actually made... I'm sure we've got an outro video. Oh, yeah, because the intro was so good. 
we made he, he went and made an outro that's even better so thank you very much everybody the the main podcast is going to be i think it looks like it's gonna be me and john maybe chris and maybe femi three out of us four um i've told them tuesday or wednesday at 7 30 so one of those two days at the moment they've they've, they've they don't know what they're doing and so uh yeah we will see you then um hopefully this video will stay on youtube because it's uh, they've sent us an email saying demonetized i should send one back saying don't care up your bum <laughs> all right cheers dean see you later Laters. thanks for watching the sunday roast with mike and danny this is sometimes mike and this is dan and we have fun here's bird lano and here's sexy mike riding a horse danny loves junk food we know he does and mike does tricks we love football but hate talking about it so we made this show why you watch it we don't know but it's fucking hard work get off me you buzzy cunt (laughs) fuck off i hate them sunday roast is a joint production of a bird camp wonderland and the gooners podcast join us every sunday night at 10 p.m for all the entertainment you didn't know you wanted but can't live without have a great week everybody we out